Yo, yeah, what is going on guys, the Yorkshire Biker here. Uh, so yeah, I've just got to nip to the shop, I've uh, bought a new compressor and the fittings that we've got don't work, so just got to buy some more, uh, get the correct ones. Now, I did plan on originally doing uh, Vlogmas, so for anybody that don't know, it's basically something that uh, YouTubers do from the 1st of December up until Christmas, you upload a video every day. Now, as you can probably see by the channel, it's not gone too well. <laughs> We're now on the 3rd of December, and I've not done a vlog yet. <laughs> oh, my dedication is uh, right up there. So, I'm just into the shop this morning, um, get the couplings and the fittings for the new compressors and the hose. Um, and then I don't think I'm up to much to help my dad fix his van, I think. Uh, but that's about it. It's, it's not reasonable, it's not too cold. Um, but it's a little bit cold to be going out riding. And the roads are wet. I cleaned my bike yesterday. And it's going to be filthy again. Uh, so yeah, we're running into a bit of a problem with the quick shifter as well. Um, there's not no, I've not really had any issues to be fair. Um, but now the quick shifter is just not coming. It's just not working at all. Um, basically, I left work on Friday, and throughout the whole rev range, I mean, as soon as I pulled away from the car park. Um, the ignition kept cutting and then coming back in. It was like the quick shifter was uh, being activated, but I'd not touched the shift rod. Uh, I've gone into the settings and everything, um, reset it, done all the f f reset to factory default, and I've set the quick shifter up again as if it's uh, as if it's just come out of the box. Um, but it's still doing it. I've had a look on the internet, I can't see anybody that's really had any issues with this. Um, but I've, obviously when I've been setting it up, um, it tells you in the app how much uh, pressure you've got on the sensor at that particular time. Now, mine's reading 100% all the time for some reason. So I think it's possibly a, a dodgy sensor. But it's worked for the best part of seven months. So, it's a bit weird for it to just randomly start doing it. Uh, so I've sent uh, Heeltech uh, an email, told them that I've gone through all the steps that they advise you to do, um, and that obviously it's still got this problem, and then when you go into the app it's uh, giving me this 100% pressure. Well, there's two year warranty on it anyway, so uh, it should be fine. Checked all wires and everything. There's no breaks in the wiring at all, so it's uh, just a little bit, a bit of a dodgy sensor, I think. It's all good. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm back to using the clutch. <laughs> I'm gonna do still. Uh, I'll do uh, clutchless upshift still, but uh, through town and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty pointless. Squeezy, squeezy! I just wish I had a, uh, another way to be able to go into town from my uh, for, from my end of the village. Because it's uh, this is pretty much the only way in for me, and it's uh, it's rather boring. It's just a straight road. I need some decent roads to be uh, doing some vlogs on. Yeah, so I've uh, just been to the shop, um, and I've been running around all day yesterday, and obviously today as well, just for that little thing. <laughs> oh, what a joke. We need, what, we need that piece to be able to use a compressor. <sighs> anyway, let's uh, nip to the shop, see if we've got some degreaser in, um, pick up a few little bits, and then we'll head back home. Oh, 
Alright, so, second shop. Now we're going to see if we can get some degreaser. Oh, Alright, so, went to the shop. They don't have any degreaser at all. They can't get hold of it. Because um, I wanted it in the big 25 litre container bit thing. Whatever, I don't know. It stinks of weed around here though. Jesus. Uh, yeah, no, they can only get uh, the TFR and uh, screen wash. And my phone's ringing. I can feel it in my pocket. Uh, but what I did end up buying is some uh, some more polish and engine degreaser. So it's not the full on degreaser in a container, it's just uh, a small bottle of engine degreaser. Let's see how good it is. Uh, but anyways, I think I'll end it there. It's just a quick one to let you know that I'm not very good at keeping to schedules that I set myself. <laughs> uh, so I am working on a new business, hence uh, the reason why I bought the compressor. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know once it's all working as I want it to. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, and as always, ride safe, keep your sticky side down, and until next time, I love you all.